so we will be discussing the reactor core isolation cooling system or the RICSI system. So the, the purpose of the RICSI system is to provide make of water to the reactor vessel when the uh, main steam lines are isolated or the condensate and feed water system is not available. So the RICSI system can be operated in the uh, CSC to CSC mode or more commonly known as the uh, tank to tank mode where they line up the CST suction to the CST discharge which allows for flow testing or reducing reactor pressure by uh, using reactor steam. Uh, the RICSI system can also be operated in the suppression pool to CST mode and it can also be operated in the RPV injection mode. So the RICSI uh, flow controller the RICSI flow controller uh, automatically regulates uh, turbine speed by monitoring the RICSI system flow and repositions the governor valve, RICSI valve 2, uh, which is indicated there. The RICSI turbine is designed to accelerate from cold and standby to full load conditions within 30 seconds. The, RICS, the, the RICSI turbine is a non condensing Terry turbine designed to operate with steam supply pressure anywhere between 150 to uh, 1135 PSIG. The RICSI uh, water light pump, RICSI P3, discharges to the RICSI uh, discharge line to ensure it's full of water, which prevents water ham in, in the line when the RICSI system is initiating. The RICSI pump, RICSI P1, is a centrifugal pump which delivers around 600 gallons per minute of water to the reactor. The RICSI pump discharges through the system flow element then the discharge valve, then the air operated check valve. Rixi injects the reactor through the RHR head spray line. This allows Rixi to suppress the reactor head steam, which uh, adds additional system flow weight and lowers reactor pressure. The Rixi turbine exhaust line here takes uh, steam from the Rixi turbine and discharges it to the suppression pool below the water level. The exhaust line is protected from overpressure by tripping the Rixi turbine on high exhaust pressure. There's additional overpressure protection from rupture discs which relieve exhaust line pressure to the Rixi room. The normal standby lineup for Rixi is having the uh, condensate storage tanks on the Rixi suction. The Rixi system is automatically initiated at reactor level 2 which is plus 109 inches which is indicated uh, by wide range on either P601 or on P603. Uh, the RICSI system also stops on reactor level 8 by closing RICSI valve 45. RICSI will automatically cycle between level 2 and level 8 during a transient with zero operator action. On system automatic initiation, the steam turbine valve, RICSI valve 45, opens to supply uh, steam to the Rixi turbine. Rixi valve 13, which is the RPV injection valve, opens when both Rixi valve 1 and Rixi valve 45 are open. Additionally, the main turbine trips when Rixi valve 13 and Rixi valve 45 are open. The Rixi turbine will trip on overspeed, which is greater than 5,625 RPM, low suction pressure, high turbine exhaust pressure, any isolation signal and manually tripping the Rixi turbine. So the Rixi turbine trip signal closes Rixi valve 1. Now, uh, the signal does not close the actuator for Rixi valve 1, but closes the actual valve for Rixi valve 1, which is indicated on the vertical section. Uh, in order to reset a Rixi turbine trip, the operator must take the actuator for Rixi valve 1 to close, wait for it to fully close and then uh, reopen it. If the valve fails to reopen, you can send uh, the operations team to uh, investigate the cause of the trip, and if the cause of the trip is a mechanical overspeed, you can uh, ask them to reset that mechanical overspeed. The Rixi system can also automatically manually isolate. Automatic isolation is accomplished through a series of sensors in the Rixi system and Rixi rooms. So Rixi will isolate on low steam line pressure, which is around 68 PSIG, high steam line differential pressure, high steam line space temperature, uh, high pressure between the exhaust uh, rupture disc, which would indicate a rupture of the rupture disc, and um, 
It can be also manually isolated by pressing the Rixie manual isolation push button. When, when the Rixie system isolates, the inboard and outboard uh, isolation valves close, Rixie valve 8 and Rixie valve 63, and the warm-up isolation valve, Rixie valve 76, closes. The Rixie turbine trips when the system isolates. The Rixie system isolation signal can be reset and bypassed by placing both isolation signal sealants, which is to bypass. The Rixie system has a busy bypassing and operable status display, which indicates conditions for inoperability within the Rixie system. The Rixie system valves are driven by DC power. This makes Rixie a credited system uh, for inventory makeup during a station blackout. However, the water leg pump is powered by AC and is not battery powered. During a station blackout, the Rixie system must be manually initiated by operators before the discharge pressure falls. The Rixie system can be manually initiated by, by holding control, clicking this switch. This will arm the switch, and you will receive Rixie manual initiation switch armed. And then you can depress the push button to uh, initiate the Rixie system. You can also similarly reset the Rixie initiation CLN by depressing the reset push button.